Since the brand new Dragonborn minifigure has just come out, I know a lot of people are going to be army building these guys, so today I'm going to show you the army that I made for them, and hopefully you can get some ideas for your own. Not only that, but we'll also be taking a brief look at my other two Dragon Knight armies that have seen some slight upgrades since my last video about them. So let's just get right into it, first with the Green Dragon army. As you can see, I don't have a ton of these guys, but since they're just such a small force, it means we can give each of them a bit more variety to spice things up. The commander here has a printed viking helmet from Colt Bricks, and a pair of dual molded green and metallic legs that just works so well for the green dragons. And then to go with him, we've got some more standard heavy knights that carry shields and great helms, along with some nice custom printed legs from K-Town Bricks. These guys are super simple, but in my opinion, they just work really nicely as the main bulk of any green dragon army. Next, we've got what is probably my favorite character in the whole army. This archer uses the beautiful dragon quartered torso that I've added the new witch arms to, and I think they just work so well together. Obviously, it's not a perfect combination, but I think it looks really nice. And of course, I love giving any of my archers these old hood pieces that I wish LEGO would bring back. It's such a good medieval feeling piece that we just really don't have a good alternative for. And finally, our last two figs of the army are some basic foot soldiers, again with the quartered torso, but this time with some nasal helms. The Green Dragon Knights are such an amazing faction that I wish I had more of, but they are just way too expensive to army build nowadays. It is really a shame how expensive these guys are now, but thankfully the new Blue Dragon Knights can fill the void. So let's take a look at them. To begin, I have the two commanders of the army. The guy without a helmet has a beautiful blue cape to match them and a piece of silver shoulder armor. As much as I like the new molded armor piece that they come with, I wanted the bulk of this army to use the bare torsos. I just couldn't get myself to cover up these new gorgeous torso prints. And the same is true for the other commander, who just has a white cape and a custom gold printed helmet, again from Cult Bricks. My idea and inspiration for the Blue Dragons is that they are a cult-like religious order of knights that carry out the will of some mysterious religious leader, with most of the cult not even knowing who they serve. It felt like a really fun backstory for these guys, and it's given me a ton of mock ideas for them in the future. Without spoiling too much, I have planned a temple build for them inside of my modular medieval city, so stay on the lookout for that sometime soon. Anyways, next let's take a look at the group of archers that I made. First up are these two crossbowmen. I've taken the crown torsos from Castle 2013, and I've combined them with the new CMF. These torsos just work really well with the new arms and legs, and I'd highly recommend anyone try this combination for yourself. The silver, white, blue, and gold matches the new fig exactly, and to me, this is just a no-brainer combination. Next up, we've got a couple of regular archers that I made with the new back print on the torso. I just love how this back print looks, but I can't lie, I'm not 100% happy with the leg combo here. There's gotta be a better pair of legs for them, but I just didn't have anything better for the time being. Either way, I think these two work pretty well for a less armored unit of your blue dragon army. Next, we should take a look at the bulk of the army, the knights and the footmen. The half of them with the heavy armor all have blue torsos underneath, and these guys here have some more of those printed legs by K-Town Bricks. I actually don't know what weapons I want to give these guys yet, so I thought I'd ask all of you what you think they should have. I was thinking maybe some kind of warhammer or polearm, but again, I can't really decide for some reason. So let me know what you think they should have in the comments below, or if I should make them like a horseman of some kind, I don't know. Anyways, next up we've got a couple of standard knights. These guys again are using the back print from the CMF, and they also have some silver great helms. Obviously these guys need some capes to cover up their back, but I just don't have any that match right now. I think I'm gonna go for like a white Mando cape, but I don't know. Though even without the capes, these guys just look so cool. I love how this back print looks, and if I didn't know any better, I would just assume that this is the normal front of the torso. And by the way, if you're skittish about removing arms from a minifigure, and you don't want to risk breaking the minifigure, I get it, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is a toy, and I've never damaged a new minifigure from swapping out arms, so if you're afraid to do it with new figs, I'd really say you're, you're probably fine. Obviously, this should go without saying, but you should not try doing it with any like old brown torsos or arms. Those figs are definitely gonna break, but the modern ones should be completely fine to swap. Rant aside, next up we've got these spearmen. So I wanted to mix in some more of those Castle 2013 knights, so I've got these two guys that have the shield from the new CMF. You really don't have to do much to make these guys fit in with this army, they really are just a match made in heaven. And finally, the last three figs of this army are all using the CMF with a nasal helm, and they also have some of those really nice dual molded spears. 
This army was so much fun to put together, and I think I'm gonna get like maybe five, maybe ten more of them to really complete it. But now it's time to take a look at our last army, the Red Dragons. The commander here uses all of the same parts from the standard Red Dragon Knight, but he has a small upgrade with a custom silver printed helmet by Colt Bricks. It just adds in a bit of detail and elevates the fig a ton in my opinion. I honestly wouldn't be that surprised if LEGO started printing on these helmets sometime in the future, it just seems like a really obvious idea. And next we have these two new heavy crossbowmen that I just made. They have a very menacing look to them, and the spiked shoulder armor goes really nicely with these dark kettle helms. I'm definitely missing a pop of red in these figs, but maybe some red mando capes would work here. I don't have any right now, but it just feels like it would add a nice pop of color to these guys. And finally, we have three knights left. They all use the vampire knight legs and have some black armor as well. I wish I had some more of these red dragon shields, but the original sets that these figs came in just really didn't include many of them for some reason. Nevertheless, I am really happy with how this little army looks, and you could definitely combine some of the vampire knight figures into this army to beef up the numbers a bit, but I'm happy with this small group as is. And that's just about all I've got for you today. I am super excited to start building some mocks for these new blue dragons, so if you want to see their temple when it's finally ready, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, thank you so much for watching.